Today, we're gonna to be using this free plugin to create this amazing matrix inspired CRT effect. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, be sure to be subscribed because I'm uploading a video every single day of this month, bunch of banger tutorials and a lot of sauce on just video editing. For this effect, you are gonna need a plugin called Omino, but luckily for you guys, it's actually free. I'll have it linked down in the description. Be sure to drop a like and let's get into the video. So starting off in After Effects, I'm making an adjustment layer above our clip where we want the effect to take place and dragging on Omino Diffusion. By the way, the way that I was able to make that adjustment layer cut to the perfect layer length of the clip was actually my extension that's coming out later this week called Workflow. I'll have the pre-order linked in the description if you're interested. Once we have Omnino Diffusion on our adjustment layer, I'm changing the direction to down. I was messing around with the color count and then also the width one color. And we're actually going to add an After Effects expression onto the color width one. So if you alt click on the stopwatch, it will open up this expression menu in the bottom and then type in wiggle parenthesis. And then the first number is the frequency and the second number is the amplitude. So basically how often it happens and how intense. So I went 10 comma six. Basically, if you want it to happen more often, you're going to use the left number. And if you want it to happen more intense. So you want those jumps to be a little bit more intense. You go ahead and play with that right number to get started though. I think that looks good. And then I'm dragging displacement map onto that adjustment layer as well, turning the horizontal displacement to zero and then the vertical displacement up to something around 55, making sure to wrap those pixels. And then again, alt clicking on that max vertical displacement keyframe and then using a wiggle expression again, this time I went with 10 comma 55. Now you can see how our footage is bouncing up and down. Basically expressions are like keyframes that just never really end. So just do that infinitely, no matter how long your clip is. After that, I wanted to add a slight glow on the adjustment layer. And then again, adding a wiggle expression on the glow intensity. This time I went with one comma one. I went ahead and made a new adjustment layer and then added add grain onto that adjustment layer. I like playing with the intensity and the size and turning the color to monochromatic. That way there's no color noise. It's just black and white. I think it looks best for this effect. And then to make sure it applies to your whole footage, just go to final output. After that, I'm pre-composing the footage layer with two other adjustment layers and then adding tint onto that pre-comp layer. You can change it to whatever color you want. I wanted to go with that matrix inspired color, especially because it's in this video, turning down the amount tint to somewhere around 25 and then adding some deep glow onto that pre-comp as well. It's pretty intense. So I turned down the radius and the exposure and then changed the blending mode to add and then finally added a tint with that green color again. I then went ahead and added some sapphire flicker on there. If you don't have that, you can use a wiggle expression on brightness or exposure. And I basically just keyframed it to get more intense throughout the effect. And then from shake sauce, I added XY shake intense and keyframe the position and rotation amplitude from zero to a little bit higher of a number throughout. That way the shake kind of just progresses and gets more intense throughout the effect. After that, I added a new adjustment layer, went to the keyframe folder in Shake Sauce and applied vertical hit mega with a flash. I had the keyframes start at the beginning and then I also just copied and pasted them to the end. That way there's a little transition in and a transition out. And the transition's already looking pretty good, but I had an idea to kind of mask the transition in. That way it slides from left to right. So I went to the ghost layers and turned off the shake just for a moment. That way we can see a little bit better what's going on. And then just went to the pen tool and went halfway through the clip and kind of just had it split right where that laser was in the clip. If your footage doesn't have a laser, you can just emulate what I'm doing here by kind of like making like a non straight line. And then I went ahead and copied and pasted the background footage. That way we have a background layer. And the one thing that's really, really cool about workflow is when you copy and paste an effect from like a composition to another one, sometimes you just can't see it in the composition. Like it moves it all the way to the start or to the beginning. And it's like out of like the composition timeline. If you're in After Effects, you've probably experienced this before. But with workflow, all you have to do is just make sure you're still selected on that clip and then click in. And it's going to bring the beginning of the clip right where we need. I just went ahead and brought that below our pre-comp layer and then animated the keyframes of the mask. I added a slight feather on the mask and then just easy ease those keyframes. But yeah, that's pretty much all I got for you guys in this tutorial. If you did enjoy the video, be sure to drop a like on the video. If you're not subscribed, be sure to be subscribed because I'm uploading a video every single day of this month. A lot of editing sauce. Be sure to go snag Omnino Diffusion. It's free. I'll have it linked in the description. If you're interested in workflow, my new After Effects extension that's coming out, I'll have the pruder linked in the description. And then also if you want Shake Sauce, I'll also have that link down below. I appreciate all the support you guys have been giving recently. It's been absolutely crazy. And I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.